Hey everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today, you guys, <laughs> I am finally setting up cash envelopes again and sinking funds. So I had to dig y'all because your girl just forgot, okay? She just forgot. And then um, I was on Instagram and Budget Treasures popped up. She had, I hadn't seen her stuff in a while, I guess. And I was already um, following her on Instagram. And um, the first time I saw her was like maybe two weeks ago and she had did a post about how she um, saved for her house. And I was like, oh good, congratulations, you know. Um, and then, you know, I didn't see anything and then it popped up again and she mentioned her YouTube channel. And I was like, well, let me check it out. Um, I love good budget, you know, <laughs> videos um, because this is kind of the core of my channel. And I watched a couple of them and I was like, why did I stop doing cash envelopes? Why did I stop doing sinking funds? Well, one, the pandemic hit. So needless to say, um, some of you may remember I had some made, custom made for me. Um, I had made some of my own. I even sent some out for, um, you know, some of you guys to like review them or whatever, but I just knew I didn't want to do them. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to say I'm not going to change my mind, but anyway, and look, I found a Vegas fund, so that's good. So today what we're going to do, we're going to set up, um, sinking funds and cash envelopes so what i'm mainly doing you guys i'm just pulling these out and these are some that i made i'm going to um write down it's going to be and y'all this is my tax retirement okay i have change in here so i still had change in here when i went to look for it i still had change in it so as you can see at once upon a time my supplies um i did do cash envelopes and i did do sinking funds like i had planned a better me i had made one for that so we're gonna dive right in and then this is the um the money cash that i had on me in my purse and i saw that she was doing like a five dollar and one dollar challenge and i think i mentioned that in one of my videos of how to save uh, money on a low income or whatever and that basically just take dollars or that leftover change at the end of the day and so i was like you know <laughs> yoshida you give great advice you just got to use it so today i want you guys to follow along with me um, i'm going to try to keep this really short but you guys we've got to get back on track i've got to get back on track so if you're falling off a track like myself today is the day sis today is today Today is the day that we will get back on it. So these will be sinking funds. And so we have Vegas. I'm gonna put emergency fund first because that needs to go first. And then we're gonna have Vegas. Um, dental, I may go through my old ones. And I think I mentioned in a video before that I have dental because I have dental insurance. Um, if you don't know, dental insurance is kind of high and it's the most expensive. So there's Vegas. I think I need to cut some holes for that. Um, my daughter, which is Destiny. Um, she's away at college, but I am trying to, she wants to start a nonprofit. Uh, she'll turn 21 in October. And then sometimes I need to help her out with things. So um, I really want to help her out with a nonprofit. So I want to put up some money for that. Um, and this whole envelope says sinking funds. I don't know why, whatever. Um, products. Here that are going to cash envelopes. Christmas, definitely Christmas. Okay. And maybe the reason I did sinking funds was so that because I'm self-employed, maybe you know at the end of the day I can just throw something in here. Um, we got dental, we have car. Oh goodness. Okay, so then I'm gonna do car, and then I'm doing taxes. It's a lot, y'all. And then um, retirement. I R A. Now, this is how I plan to break it down. I want to put what I want in my emergency fund. So there's. Let me just draw a line here. Hold on. I'll take this and draw a line. 
and then it's already separated here and then we'll do the total at the bottom. So this is how, this will be how much I totally want in my emergency fund. Um, I want about, believe it or not, I want 20,000. I know it seems like a lot. I don't know if I should place it that high, but whatever. Um, right now, I'm gonna start with um, $10 weekly. And I'm gonna put weekly up here. I'm gonna put um, lifetime right here, which won't be lifetime, but probably for a yearly basis. Um, Vegas, I only have a few short months, you guys. Not even, I only have a month left to go to Vegas. Um, I would like to take, I'm just gonna put 500 here, and right now I'm gonna put $20. Um, dental, I do want, I don't know if I want braces or what I want done, um, but I'm assuming braces, so I'm gonna put this at about 5,000, and then I'm just gonna put like uh, $5, okay? And for my daughter, there's, um, I'm not for sure how much the nonprofit to, because you have to go through lawyers and things like that. I'm not pretty, I'm not sure exactly how much that's gonna run me, but um, for the sake of it, I'm just gonna do five. At the moment, I'm gonna put five to 10. Uh, Christmas, y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put 10. Um, for my car, again, I'm gonna do five because I need like, just for the oil change. Also, I wanna maybe purchase a new car in the future, and I really would like to pay cash. I really would like to pay cash for a car. Um, at least have a hefty down payment. Taxes, oh, this is, it's gonna be kinda hard, but I'm gonna put, I don't know if I should do taxes yet, because I'm gonna be taking taxes out, but I'm gonna put $5 for now, and then my IRA, because I don't, I don't have a retirement plan. I had one, I got rid of it, and just never got it again. I do have stock, but um, this is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna take this screw right here. And it's just time to be real with my finances. Um, if you follow me on, I gotta put the date here, y'all, so Because I like to know when I had this idea. Okay, let's see, we got, over here so far, let's see. I'm not gonna add this up, I'm just gonna add this part up. So, so far we have $70 a week that I would need. Um, let me double check that. $70 a week. And being that I'm self-employed, for those of you who are new, I am self-employed, um, hairstylist, business owner. So this should be easy to accomplish. Um, I will up it later, but I think just starting out, getting back into the groove of things, this is something I can do. Um, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight categories. So for a self-employed person, this is how I tend in my mind to do is I need to break things down by the week, by the day, by the hour, by the customer. That's just the way my brain has operated for the past almost 30 years is because I've been self-employed that long and being paid daily. Um, that's just the way, you know, I think and I accumulate what I can't afford and what I cannot afford. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, um, let's say Monday. Monday's a busy day. I could possibly make this more than this on Monday, but a bill may be due. So I'm like, okay, I can afford to put these two, since Monday will be busy, I can afford to put these two um, sinking funds away. Uh, Tuesday, I probably wouldn't work. Wednesday probably wouldn't work. So Thursday, I could probably do these two. And then uh, Friday, I could do all of these. So that makes sense. So that'll be 10, 15, 20, 25. I could do 25 on Friday. I could do 10 on Thursday, and then I can do 30 on Wednesday. That's the way I have to break it down. So these are now my sinking funds. Okay, um, I was gonna use this for cash envelopes, but let me go ahead, I guess I will. 
Um, so for cash envelopes, gas. I normally, <laughs> I get gas just about every two weeks. My gas tend to last me, but sometimes, like uh, the past couple of weeks, I was going back and forth to Richmond to help out with my niece's wedding. I was spending a lot of money, okay? So being that I get it like every two weeks, I spend about 35. I try not to go over 35. If it goes over 35, trust me, I'm not going over 35, but I'm just going to say 40. So let's make that, um, let me use a smaller ruler. Let's make these two um, columns again. Okay. And then, so for every two weeks or, yeah, every two weeks or the month, I would need 80. I think. I'll come back to that. If I have to lay down, that's fine. Um... I don't do groceries because my husband right now is taking care of the groceries. Uh, let me see. I'm going to do a miscellaneous. Uh, Self-care. Um, Self-care for me. I do my own nails. I can do my own hair. <laughs> uh, I like to buy body products, which I don't you know i can cut that out like trust me if you follow me on tiktok i have plenty of <laughs> products i do have um i'm gonna put it down only because sometimes um bath and body works maybe running a sale or something like that so candles so i'll say self-care um for the month i'd say fifty dollars so I think we're on a week over here, so that's 20. That would be 20, I figured that out. Um, this one is a little bit more, only because sometimes it just be little small random things. Like today, I was talking to my sister about wine. I wanna go to the wine store. So that would be considered miscellaneous to me. Who knows, I might go in, I don't know. Um, uh, I'd say that'd be about 500 for the month. But weekly, uh, I'd say about 80. Um, Self-care. We did that for the month. That would be $5, 5 and 4 Hold on. Let me do a little math. And it's twelve fifty, so I'll just put about $15. Okay. Um, Self-care. What else is something? Let me go through my little envelopes. Oh, supplies. Oh my goodness, supplies. Um, now, I'm going to put supplies number one. And that would be for the salon. And then supplies number two would be for Norris Cove. Um, supplies for me, like for the month, because things are slow. Um, and see here I have products. I have a products envelope. I know that's here though. So I put that, but then I have a supplies one, two, and then that one. Um, so for the salon for the month, I'm gonna put 75, okay? And then weekly, I'm going to try to do 10, maybe 20, 20. That'll give me 80, okay? And then supplies number two would be Norris Cove. This is where it goes downhill. <laughs> this is where it goes downhill because this, I really don't know, you guys. I really don't know. Um, it just depends, like shipping, especially when I get my pens. They come from China. Sometimes the shipping is... Uh, expensive depends on what bulking you know you want to do um uh, how you get them in bulk or however um i don't know you guys right now i don't know i'm just gonna leave that a little blank i think what i'm gonna do is just throw something at it because i may take away from the business where i don't just get a profit at all at the moment and put to that so i may just eliminate that altogether. um let's see car that is it um i do have a car one over here and you guys, I haven't had a, my car washed in so long because I've just been like doing everything Norris Cove and traveling, you know, back and forth, like I said. So 
I'm going to get back to that because I really want to um, start getting my car washed on a weekly basis. So this was my car one. I'm looking to see. And I was thinking about investing in like some more um, like envelopes, like purchasing, like um, purchase. I want to place an order with um, Budget Treasures, but I have to condition my mind to like stop spending. <laughs> like I will, I love to support people, but I and I can clearly make my own. But I've got to get myself together, you know, with spending. So the next time we go through these, so now we have a new video that you'll see every week, which will be um, sinking funds, cash envelopes. So probably two. Okay, you guys. Now I just it just came to me eating out. That is my biggest issue. I love to eat out and I love to eat good. I gotta put that down, eating out. Um, for the month, I wanna give myself $100. I'm gonna put 150. And then I'm gonna do, it's 40 times, four. It goes 160. That would be good. Uh, let me try 35 times four. It's 100. Okay, I just want the number to be even. So I'm gonna do 40. So I'm allowed pretty much $40 a week with eating out. But I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna try to go a couple of weeks without eating out so that way I can have some in there. At least that's my plan, okay? So these now are my new sinking funds, my cash envelopes. If any of this changes, of course, I'm gonna try to design me some type of um, insert so that I can keep up with it that works for me. I mean, really, for real, for real, this works, but to have it structured in my business planner, I mean, not my business planner, my budget planner, but I do have a sinking funds insert i do know that so i'll just probably use that and fill that out but thank you all so much so i can't wait for you guys to see um what i'm doing and how well i'm doing oh also i'm going to do let me add this too thanks to budget treasures i'm going to be doing um the dollar challenge um and the five dollar challenge now i didn't i'm gonna like I didn't get to look at all her videos, but I'm gonna just put like whatever at the end of the day dollars I have and five dollars. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna throw those in some envelopes. I must say I was truly inspired by Budget Treasures, but I'm so glad that I came across her video because it let me see that I am slacking big time. And it's no sense in me you know, not having any money, but I definitely want to get a handle on my finances again. I was doing good before the pandemic, but it was like after the pandemic. So if I got an extra check, it was like, oh, treat yourself. So, <laughs> I, you know, I'm an overspender. I like nice things. I love stuff I don't need. I will honestly say I love stuff I don't need. So now um, I'm just going to buckle down but that is it you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's video if you want to come along with me um for this financial journey of getting back on track with my sinking funds and my cash envelopes i would love to have you join me and follow along or just keep me accountable um do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload videos like this and i'll talk to you guys later Bye.